Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, as you can see the weather looks like crap right now. It's actually pretty nice out right now, but it doesn't look, I hope that goes by, I don't know. It might be nothing. We got a shower this morning. And yeah, that doesn't look good there either. And we got a shower this morning, which uh, we were gonna be giving her again today, combining, but that shut us down. So we're just unloading last night's uh, midnight or so trailers, which uh, we're loading into, unloading into one of the 10,000s, the grain vaults. I believe these aren't 10,000s, I believe they're more. Because the way it's going right now, I've already put Two of those, this is the third one, I believe. Or the second, I already lost track. Damn, I got it written down. Uh, that's the third one of the Freightliner liner. And just one top kick full. And it's just barely over the door. Well, it's a little higher than the door now, because uh, I've unloaded that trailer in it, so. Sean's standing guard, and I'm on top of bin. Checking out the scenery. Anyway, I'm gonna get down. Hey, Sean, why do you turn your back as soon as I turn the camera on? Huh? <laughs> So we got the bins there anyway, uh, we didn't have time to get the gravel base but what's really nice about steel floors is you can pretty much put them anywhere for time being. These bins I do want to put it on gravel there because it kind of slopes down and uh, I want to get this all gravel here because as soon as it gets wet this will be a mud hole. So this is going to be all gravel too. So Just if it would dry up enough that I can get to the, to the gravel pile, right Sean? You can't even get there to get a load of gravel because you just get stuck there. Not right in the gravel, but right around there. It's kind of where I have the gravel, it's kind of a wet spot, so it's a bad place where they put it. So, yeah, that's clouds are coming. That middle trailer, middle, <clears throat> middle hopper should be done by now, just about. And that one's full in the front. That's a, that was the end. And then we just have to undo that truck yet. Ah, uh, we got one of the TR combines plugged. Trevor plugged it up. But it was uh, pretty tough. Uh, open up the thing and let it clean out. It was pretty tough. And the uh, crop that we're doing is underseeded to hay, so it's got a lot of weeds and hay. So it made the straw even tougher. So we're gonna go try and bale some straw if we can. There, now we're gonna move to the back. There, we're just unloading the back compartment now. That should be good. I'm not going to open it up full door. Uh, with this sauger, when you're lifting it, uh, like that's, for this sauger, that's as far as I'd want to have it at that angle. But uh, you can break shear pins, which I just did yet last night. And I've always read about these augers and breaking shear pins. And it finally happened to me. It was dark. I couldn't see how much was coming out. Didn't have my flashlight. And uh, I walked away for a little, just 10 seconds, and I heard the tractor lose pow uh, start powering out, and then I, it broke the pin. So I found one in the shop, which wasn't quite right, but it put it back in, and it, uh, it took off, which I was surprised. I thought it was going to break it again. Sean was combining. 
He's the one who ended up combining the last with the 9600. Was it getting tough that night? Hard going? Yeah. Made the combine growl. How do you like your new lights? Sean went and installed a set of LED lights on a 9600 without me even knowing. Just went and did it. Right on. Need another one for the hopper. Yes, the hopper one. I don't know what, they put in like a little Christmas light bulb in there. You, know, you can't see nothing, especially when it gets dirty. I was actually trying to find one, but damn, I was at PV Mart and I didn't. There's actually an 18 watt LED. And still, it's, it's like normal size, but it's 18 watt. It's pretty, you don't need that much for the hopper. Even a smaller one would help. But man, I don't want to pay 100. It's like $140. Crazy. I got that whole package of lights. I don't know what I paid for. I think it was like 200 bucks for a whole package. It's enough to do everything. I still even have that aux theme uh, light bar to install yet. The only thing is, I don't, I don't really like light bars, which I found out because most of the stuff we have is all fiberglass hoods, and I hate wrecking fiberglass hoods, putting holes in it just to mount a light bar. Um, I like mounting on the old existing lights. So that's why I don't really like the light bar. I thought it was cool at the time, but if you can put it on something that's got steel, you can weld to or whatever, make your own mount, fine. But uh, yeah, so I still have that to put on. I have uh, the, the wireless camera that uh, they sent me, uh, which I'm going to put in this truck so I can see on top when we're loading and stuff like that. And, Probe thing, probe at the elevator. That'll come in handy. So I gotta do that yet too. And we got some rain coming up. It's supposed to be rain tomorrow night and the next day, Wednesday. So maybe I'll tackle that. I don't know. We'll see. Always something to do. Okay, we got the Freightliner back. It was in the shop for repair. Blew a turbo on it hooked up to our 1,000 bushel trailer. Uh, with barley, we get about 1,200 bushels in it when it's right full, right to the right to the top. So we're hauling about 1,000. Actually, this trailer, I don't know what it holds, really, yet. I've had, oh, maybe we had 40 ton of wheat on there. We didn't think we had that much. So, yeah, it can hold a lot, that trailer. Carpet up, Doug. In case we didn't get some rain. But yeah, this is our little freight liner for anyone who doesn't know. It's just a small little truck. 330 horsepower, Mercedes engine. This is the one with the, uh, it's the auto shift transmission. Auto shift 10 speed. Which basically it uh, shifts exactly like a standard, but the computer is doing it. Which you still have a clutch. Because when you come to a stop, you have to push in a clutch or you'll stall. So, And uh, other than that, it shifts just like a standard. In fact, actually, you can, if you want, you can open up this hatch door and put a shifter in here. It's, it's really not that hard and use it as a true standard. But anyhow, this is the turbo that we put in it. I guess it ended up blowing the turbo so bad on heavy. Anyway, can't really see it in there, but that's the exhaust side. I guess it ended up blowing the turbine right out of it. There's, They couldn't find it. There was nothing left of it. Usually they say the turbine is still in there. It's just the bearings are shot. The seals are gone. But they said they couldn't find any of it in the exhaust system anywhere. So they took off the oil pan to make sure there was nothing in there. Um, what else? Brand new air filter. 
make sure there's no uh, uh, junk in there from when it blew. So I guess it can blow it both ways. But uh, yeah, hopefully they give me the core on there because the core is like worth 700 bucks. It's a $3,000 turbo. Anyway, she's got some snap now. It's just uh, it's a little underpowered for the for the uh, thousand bushel trailer. It should be about 350 minimum. So, but it works good. It's a good. It's great on fuel. Like you can put that sucker full, and you're gone. And, oh, last a long time. I don't know how many miles because I don't really drive this truck too much. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's a good little truck. Works well. Well, I think straw baling might be out of the question. We're getting sprinkles right now, and that's the area about six miles that way where we have to bale straw. Sean, you got that trailer going pretty slow. You could go way faster than that. You're scared to break pins too, eh, Sean? So we just got to load the top kick yet. Well, we're out at the combine now. Uh, we were thinking of baling straw. No way, it poured here. Straw is like mush now. It's just wet. Good, good little shower, like wow, kind of like a downpour it was here. So we're at the TR96, and uh, we just took out the side plates where uh, they have the little uh, concave sections in there, and we took out the straw. This is the straw that was in there, and it was pretty tough. Like I can feel it right now, it's wet. So, there's your, uh, there's your rotor in there. There's still a little bit of straw in there. Took out the other side. It looks pretty clean in there. Sean's gonna give her a try and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, right there, where the flywheel's spinning, there, you got your clutch right there. We don't want to burn that out because I hate putting clutches in these. So, we're just gonna give her a quick try. She's cleaned out. It was just that little bit on the right hand rotor. Tough straw, like, like this is under seeded into hay, alfalfa and grass, so there's a lot of green stuff in here. Especially in this area where it drowned. A lot of water went through here this spring. And uh, the straw was really a lot of green, like look at this. There's lots of grass in it and everything, and it got tough at the end of the day. And it got in there just like a just like a rope. So now we just gotta put everything back together. <laughs> 